wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that for you and he want to bless you and it's time for you to get your blessing Amen. you got to turn away from negative talks negative conversation negative anything anything negative you don't want to have no dealing with it uh, because it will bring you down you say you trying to gain this you're trying to have this that and the other but you're not going to get it being around a lot of negative minded people amen praise the lord so we're going to ask uh, we're going to pray right now and uh, and uh, I'm going to ask my dear brother, can he lead us in prayer? That's it. Our dearest and most beloved Heavenly Father. Yes. We yes. thank you for this time we can come together as your children, your sons and daughters. Yes. And to worship you and yes. to revere you, honor you, and to glorify you, to magnify you, and to share our hearts with you and with each other. We ask your spirit to come and rest, rule, and abide with us here at this time. And that you would fill this space with your spirit. And the Holy Spirit would come to each one of our hearts and our minds and encapsulate us with your goodness and your holiness and purify our hearts and minds to make us like you, that we might truly stand as your sons and daughters. We thank you for all the blessings of life that you've given us. Yes. We always want to have a grateful heart and never, ever be disgruntled or angry or feeling that we are in need because you fulfill all of our needs yes. and you know what we need even before we ask. Yes. So we have faith and trust in you thank that you Jesus. will always be there for us yes, no Lord. matter what happens. Thank we thank you again. Please be with us now as we come together yes. as your sons and daughters, as yes. one family under you. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Thank God for that wonderful prayer because the Bible teaches us to pray. Amen. Amen. And whatever you ask the Father, ask it in the name of Jesus. And when we pray, we expect to get answers. Anytime you pray, I want you to pray expecting to receive an answer. We don't just put words out there or just say words because we know how to say words or, or learn to say what somebody else says. But we put them out there because we, we truly want God to bless who we're praying for. Bless ourselves or bless others. So I want you to know God wants you to pray. He wants you to pray too because if you pray and do what the words say do, then God got a blessing in store for you. He wants to bless you. He wants to have his way in your life. He wants you to know he is a good God. He's a God of honor. Yes. Amen. You know, that's when a lot of people testify and say, I give honor to God. Well, it's a blessing when you testify and do give God the proper honor because God deserves all the honor. I want you to know that he deserves all the honor. You can honor God by honoring each other. Amen? When you show God that you honor him, you honor and respect others. If you can't respect others, don't expect God to do much for you. Amen? God wants you to show love have love in you and respect other people amen because people is what it's all about amen. amen people is what it's all about we are supposed to be a blessing to all people amen god so loved what the world that he gave us his only begotten son amen, amen. we know that god want to bless you i'm telling you it's time for you to get your blessing now 
I'm glad for my wife being here with us too. I thank God for the brother praying so honest and so sincere. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that God is answering our prayer. But ask her, does she want to have something to say? Praise God and thank God for my wife. Amen. <coughs> and I want you to know God has blessed her. Let me say this to you before she get up. Amen. God blessed her. And he started out blessing her. Years ago, I used to go to Mount Clemens. And I would be in Mount Clemens there. And I would be at the church in Mount Clemens. I took my choir there to Mount Clemens. We, we sang, we sung songs at Mount Clemens. Ella Stevenson was the pastor there in Mount Clemens. Of course, I know some of you watching today, you know him, and some of you probably don't know him, but nevertheless, he was a wonderful man. And he's one that I respect, and he respected me. Somebody looked and said, well, how you know him? How you know him? I knew him because God gave me the revelation to know him, and I, we fellowship. I, I went there to see him. I'm saying this to you. We had a wonderful service there. And she was there, praise God, but I didn't know it. <laughs> Amen. I see her there. <laughs> and I'm in there, praise the Lord. <clears throat> I say this, because she was raised, raised up in the church, but she didn't know, she didn't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. But nevertheless, you know, it's good to be a follower of Christians, somebody that's living right. So someday God will bring you back into the thing that you started, you started you out in. But what I'm saying, praise God, I met her. What, long years after that, I met her down at the courthouse. Yes. She was down there paying a ticket for somebody. Amen. <laughs> and while she was paying this ticket, I looked over at her. And I saw her, praise God, standing there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you understand me? I saw her standing paying this ticket. And the Lord said to me, go talk to her. And I gave up what I was doing. And when I started talking to her, I said, how you doing, daughter? She said, I'm doing all right. And to make the conversation here shorter, anyway, I said, I want you to give me your phone number. Give me your phone number, and I'm going to call you, okay? And you know what? When I went there, I put my hand out and I shook her hand before I said anything to her. I shook her. And you know what? She shook my hand. Amen. <laughs> she shook my hand. Usually you go meet people, they don't just come out and shake your hand. But she shook my hand and I said, I want you to give me your phone number and I'm going to come see you. And God bless you. And I left her and didn't say nothing else to her. I'm saying this same young lady here today, come on now, young Amen. lady, I say young lady, Amen. <laughs> is here with me today. And I thank God for her. Because when I did that, about a month, a, a, a little bit longer after that, the Lord led me to go out to where she lived. I called her and I told her I was going to come out there. I didn't tell her when, exactly when, but I went out there. And I caught her, praise God, and her and her friend sitting down beside, uh, uh, they were sitting down, one was on one side, another on one side, but guess what they were doing? Now she didn't tell me to say this, but I'm gonna tell you what they were doing. They were drinking champagne, champagne and champagne, what do you call it stuff? I don't know much about me. Champagne. <laughs> they were drinking a little bit there, amen. And I looked over at them and they tried to, she tried to hide the bottle because they didn't want me to see them drinking. But I had already seen it. They didn't know I saw it. But they hit, she hit the bottle behind, the, on the side of the couch so I wouldn't see that they had been drinking. But it didn't make me no different because I went there for a purpose because the Lord sent me there. You see, when God sent you a place, you got to obey him. And I obeyed God. And I went there, praise God, and I began to talk to them. I began to talk to them. And you know, when I talked to them, God then showed me, amen, they could be saved. And I asked them, I said, do y'all want to be saved? Do y'all want the Lord? 
And they had to say yeah, because they, they, they wouldn't say no. They say yes. But I prayed with them. 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 Hallelujah. Until both of them start crying. Amen. Both of them begin to cry and begin to give their life to God. And I could see right then what God, how God was moving up on them. But I stayed there until tongues came forward. Amen. Began to speak in another tongue. I'm saying this to you. I thank God for my wife. And I'm going to let her say something, whatever she want to say, so you can hear her say something in Jesus' name. Come forward, honey. God bless you. Let us say amen. All right. God bless my friend. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for being here. I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for seeing my sister come in the door. I haven't seen her in a while. Amen. 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 I just come to give God the glory, the praises, and the honor. Because he's worthy to be praised. I give yeah. honor to the pastor of this church. And I just thank God for everything that he's doing. Yes. And my word for the day would be to give your life to Jesus. Yes. Amen. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, give your life to him. Yes. Because without Jesus, you don't have anything. Amen. Amen. You can gain the whole world. But what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Right. So give your life to Jesus. And when you do that, stand on his word, read the Bible, ask God to reveal to you what the word means, yes. and you will be blessed and highly favored. Yes, Amen. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. That's right. Praise God. And I tell you, most everybody want to be blessed and highly favored. Yes. Amen. Everybody want to be blessed and highly favored. And I thank God for that testimony coming from her. And she is the one that God sanctified that day, and she's here now, 36, 37 years later, 36 oh, years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be 37 years in July. Amen. We've been together. Thank God for her. Aren't you glad that she testified? Aren't you glad to know she's yet here? We all are yet here doing what God said do. Amen. And I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you that's watching because we all need more of the Lord, more Jesus in our lives. Amen. I'm glad to see uh, my friend come in. I don't want to express herself or not, but she's welcome to express Thank herself. You, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Truly, I praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, praise and thank the Lord for how he blessed me and keep me with the mind stayed on me. All right now. Truly, I praise and thank the Lord thank you. for this opportunity to be before you. In Jesus' name, Bishop Barnes. God bless your daughter. God Pastor, bless you. Pastor Barnes and his wife, yes. First Lady Barnes, and the brother here. Amen. I just thank God for you all. This was quite a surprise. Uh-huh. <laughs> but... To God be the glory anyhow. Yes, because yes, yes. This is an opportunity to give thanks unto the Lord and tell God's people and others what God can do for you. That's right. Hallelujah. Truly, when I came in, I was listening to Pastor Barnes and his testimony of how he met his beautiful wife, praise God, and how she just started believing on the Lord yes. through him. Yes. Hallelujah. Born and being obedient to the Lord. That's right. Now. To God. You That's know, right. Truly, we're living in the times now where people don't think that you can have a friendly relationship and be doing the work of the Lord when it's a man and woman involved. Yes. Hallelujah. Well. But he was in the trenches when huh? he went Glory to God. his wife's house. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank Praise you God. God. And here is the testimony of how the Lord just blessed them in holy matrimony. Yeah. Through him being obedient and she getting saved through him. Praise That's right. God. That's right. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. You know, hallelujah. And, you know, it was a blessing just for me to meet Pastor Barnes. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. And, you know, praise God, I was in a, a stressful moment. 
Bless when the Lord laid it on my heart yes. to call him. That's Hallelujah. right. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. And I just thank God for being obedient to his spirit right. to call God. Pastor Barnes because this is truly a man of God. Thank Hallelujah. You, thank There's been so thank many you. opportunities that his wife just let him come and just minister to me. Oh, come on, spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. And I just thank and praise Bless God for that. Hallelujah. Yeah, because these are two beautiful people that God has placed in my life. Hallelujah. You, in a trying time. Hallelujah. And 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 you know, it's just Mother Barnes here, she's a beautiful lady. She's a beautiful woman of God. Yes, she's yes, she's a yes. beautiful pastor's wife. Hallelujah. Glory and I just thank God for these two beautiful people that reaches out throughout the community. Hallelujah. Because they have a special ministry here over in Ham Traffic. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. Hallelujah. And it's just been uh, just beautiful just being in under their pastoral ship. Yes, yes. You know, God has led me into so many un, uh, oh, mysterious things since I've been under their ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord has revealed so much to me since I've been under their ministry. Praise thank God. You, thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord has answered so many prayers. Hallelujah, since I've been under their ministry. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. You know my heart is just overwhelmed to just be here right. under their God, ministry. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, I, I don't want to hold you long, but praise God. I just praise and thank the Lord how he saved my soul. And thank delivered you. Thank me you. from so many different things that I know that I wasn't ready to give up, but I gave them up to gave the Spirit up. of God. Up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all about just uh, surrendering to the will of God, yes, hallelujah, yes, yes. to what God says do, hallelujah, right. because no man will understand everything that God right. have you doing, praise right. God, right. as long as it's in God's will, That's right, hallelujah, That's right. he can use you to bring somebody else through, hallelujah, That's, right. That's ready and right, and this willing to just turn their life over to God, and I just thank and praise God. For yeah. being here today, right. I've been right. out of town. Right. Praise God! But the Lord just blessed me to get back home. Come on, now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah! And to continue to be doing His work and to come yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. my mother and my father in the Lord. Lord. Praise on, the Lord! Lord. Hallelujah! Lord. And I just praise and thank the Lord for just being here today and this opportunity to be before you. I just want to share with you that God can save your soul come if on. you just surrender. Yes. Unto the Lord. Come on. Just Man. be repentful. Hallelujah. For That's the it. things that you have done, that you that you are doing. Just yes. be ready to repent and say, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior, That's Jesus right. Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. We are now living in the what we call the last days. And yes, there's so yes. much that's going on in the world today. So many different religions, so many Come this on, and so many on, that, man. you on. know. But there's only one God. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. And my heart just goes out to who's ever under the voice, under my voice, is just to seek Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Yes. Because yes. he is the one that went to that cross yes. for our souls. Hallelujah. And just be willing to repent and surrender unto God. And be blessed. Amen. That was nice, wasn't it? And I thank God for her testimony because, yeah. you see, when you are in this world, God wants us all to have a testimony. Amen. He wants us to all be able to testify to his love or to his strength or to his power or to his grace or to him coming into your life and saving you and sanctifying you and filling you with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It is a real blessing. I want yeah, you to I know. know God has wonderfully blessed her. And since she has been a part of this ministry, I love her so much. My wife loves her. We thank God for her because she comes here and, and she's been a she's been a blessing. She's been a blessing to our church here. Praise God. And I want you to know if you come on out and let God have his way with you, you can be a blessing too. You can be a blessing not only to the ones that's here today, but to the ones that coming next week, next month, next year, as God give you to do so. Amen. God wants you to be a part of this ministry because you got a good heart. Right. I can see now, because you have been lonely, you have been stressed out. God is speaking this today. 
You've been lonely and you've been stressed out. And God is getting in to speak this to you today to <coughs> let you know you don't have to live that way. God got a better way for you to live. Yes. And you don't have to be stressed out. You don't have to be all lonely. You don't have to be all caught up in the cares of this world. Oh, yes. Because God got better things for you. Yes. And he Amen. wants you to receive them in your heart. I said, receive them in your heart. Don't, re don't, don't just receive them from your, uh, you know, just my own thing. But you receive them because God wants you to receive them. And because God got blessings, yes. he wants to bless you with. Yes. I know, amen, God has brought us all a long way. God has taught us many things. I listened at the conversation we had here this morning as a part of the Sunday school lesson I had. Amen. It was a part of it. Amen. And the brothers, they spoke so wonderful. Amen. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed them when they were talking. Mm -hmm. Amen. And my wife was contributing to some of it too. She, she had to come out with something. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God for the agreement that we came to today. Mm -hmm. You see, in a discussion of any kind of discussion, you want to be able to come to agreement. You want to be able to come to realize things a little different from what you realized before. You see, things that we thought about before, it was good. But if God got something to add to, to that, we should be thankful for it. God want to add to our vocabulary. He want to add to us things that will enable us to do better or help somebody else do better. I want to help people do better, don't you? Amen. And you that's watching, you that's sick right now. I want you to know, God is a healer. He is a healer. God is truly a healer. Yes. And he wants to heal you. He wants to make you whole. He wants to set you free. Amen. Amen. Free from what? Anything that's got you bound. Anything that's caused you not to do what God say do. And a lot of people, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people are hooked on alcohol they're hooked on drugs. Well, they're hooked on regular cigarettes or cigars. Or some person coming in the gas station and buying these little bitty long things. And I don't know what you call them. I don't know. I ain't got no big long. But anyway, they're buying those things and, and yes. to, to wrap some up in it and smoke it. Amen. I'm telling you, if you want to be delivered from that stuff, we are serving a God that's able to deliver you now. I know a lot of people don't want to be delivered. A lot of people ain't ready to be delivered. But if you want to be delivered from alcohol or from cigarettes or from drugs or, or anything that's got you bound, mm -hmm. you're, you're listening at a person that believes in deliverance. I believe that God can take anything away from you that's not right. Anything yes. that will hinder you, Amen. God can take it all from you. Amen. You can become a total Christian, a total sanctified person, a total person that really believes in God and want to serve God and not so much yourself. Yes. Serving yourself, serving the flesh can cause you to be lost. The 8th chapter of Romans says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Amen. Jesus. Who walk is not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah. So that's what God wants you to be after is his spirit. Mm -hmm. Because flesh is weak. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Flesh is weak. I want you to know that. Ain't no good thing. <laughs> Amen. God ain't got, ain't, no, ain't nothing good to dwell in that flesh. Amen. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Flesh is weak. Mm -hmm. That's when flesh has to be crucified. Got to crucify flesh. Kill out the flesh, the thing, you know. Crucify mean kill it out, right? God wants you to crucify your flesh in order to receive something from him. So I'm saying to you, you that's bound because of these habits, are bound because of the cares of this world and not the cares of God. My God, I can feel the power of God I'm speaking right now. Because I know I'm saying this to somebody right now that's lost and have been bound up because the cares of this world. The world don't love you. Amen. God loves you. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. 
and he died for you. Amen. 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 Come on now. You need to submit your life to Jesus, to God. Amen. Amen. Let God have his way in your life. I can feel the power of God is speaking. You, 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 you catch on to this. You catch on to this because I want God to enter into your spirit, into your mind through this telecast. I want God to do something with you through this telecast. You heard the expression of different ones. These are expressions of truth, and God wants you to be true. Jesus said, I am the way, and he is the way to success. He's the way out of that trouble you're in right now. He's the only way you can get out of it. Because you can't get out of it on yourself, with yourself, by yourself. You got to get in the way. You got to get in Jesus. He is the way. You got to get into Jesus in order for you to be delivered from all this. I saw I've been naming crack cocaine or whatever. I, mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know nothing about it, but I heard about it. Amen. God wants you to be delivered. And you can't be delivered. Brother that's left here today, he was talking about how he was bound because of crack cocaine. He'll be back on TV sometime and you'll hear him speak, I'm sure. But I want you to know God want to bless you real good. I don't know what, I mean, I mean, let me say, this is Bishop Barnes talking to you today. And I'm on this station because I want you to hear the word of God. We are at 2335 Grayland Street right off of Joseph Campbell. 2335 Greenland Street, right off of Joseph Campbell. We're here trying to give this word to all of these people out here in Hamtramck. I heard that Hamtramck had 26 different nationalities out here. So God's enabling me to establish this church here so all of them can hear his word. In the beginning was the word, the word with God, the word with God. We won't get all, all that. But I want you to know, I want you to come here and be a part of these services with us at 2335 Greenland Street. The phone number is Erico 313 948 This is your girl Vicki Winans and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi everybody. I'm telling you everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine AG and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Clifton Davis, and you're watching Bell Global Network. 